Hi everyone, welcome back to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt Troutman. Genius Lounge is the place where we take tech and we make it accessible to mere mortals. Today we're going to talk about group FaceTime. In this current climate where we're social distancing ourselves and making sure that we're not interacting with people in real life, we want to make sure that you can actually contact the people that you love and not just one at a time. So group FaceTime is a great alternative to actually meeting in person. So let's go ahead and jump in on our phone and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first way to do this is actually through the FaceTime app. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap on FaceTime in the upper left hand corner here. And from here, I'm going to tap the little plus in the upper right hand corner. This allows me to add people to my chat. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add myself. And I'm going to add my admin for Genius Lounge. And now you'll see both of these items show up as blue, which means that they're both able to receive FaceTime calls. In this case, I can go ahead and click video and it will initiate a FaceTime video call. Now you can also do group chats, kind of like a conference call. If you want to do just audio, you can click the audio button right here and that will connect you all together as an audio call. For this video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at video calls. So I'm going to tap video. And the parties that you've invited should get a notification on their devices inviting them to the call. And while we're waiting for them, you'll see this. I'm going to go ahead and from my other device, I'm going to accept the call. So now that I've accepted, I see my face on both screens here. Uh, we're still waiting for admin at Genius Lounge. He's kind of lazy and he doesn't like to uh, join into these calls. So what I can do is actually, if I wanted to focus on one particular individual, I can tap on them. So let me show you how that works. If you tap on that, you can then take that mostly full screen and give them focus. So then you can look at one particular individual. If they're the one talking, you can definitely give them that focus. And then you can also tap and you can return back with the two or three parties. If you've got multiple parties in here, the person who's speaking will actually come to the foreground and it will kind of float bigger and the it's kind of this fluid feel to the whole experience, which is kind of fun because that way it gives focus to the person who's talking. Another great way to start a group FaceTime is to use your messages app. If you've got a group chat going with all of your friends that use iPhones, you can do so super easily from the messages group. So let's take a look at that. I'm just going to tap on messages down here. And I see that I've already got a group chat going and Fishy wants to know if we want to group FaceTime. So the really cool part here is all you have to do is tap up here on this group of people and then you can click on FaceTime and that's going to launch into a group FaceTime call. All right, so now we know how to make calls. Let's take a look at how to join a group call if we're invited. When you're invited to a group FaceTime call, you'll see a notification on your phone pop up or if someone chooses to ring you, that can actually send a call notification to your phone just like you were receiving a regular phone call or a regular FaceTime. But if you miss one of those and the call is still going on, you can still join in. So let's take a look at that. So if I open up my FaceTime app, I can see that this is going on right now and it says tap to join. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that and join the group FaceTime. And to confirm, I'm going to click the green join button. And there we go. Now, the other thing I can do is I can actually join straight from my messages app as well. If it was initiated in that group chat. So I'm going to tap the messages app right here. And I see that there's a group FaceTime going on right now and I can tell it join. And just like that, you're able to join in with an ongoing FaceTime call. I hope this video helped you so that if you're not able to meet with your friends and family in person, that you'll be able to join together virtually. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to like, subscribe and share with all the people in your life so that that way we can help others learn the technology that they've already got in their life. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Matt Troutman and we'll see you around the Genius Lounge.